What's up guys? Rafi614 here on my way to Hot Topic. I was able to take get a little break to go over there. And uh, time right now, I think it's past 9.45. It is 9.50. I'm about six minutes away from, from Hot Topic. Let's see if I could grab, I could grab a couple of uh, mystery boxes. And hopefully I get a... Uh, or hopefully they'll have... Atsune Miku, the top topic exclusive. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I saw a couple of you guys already left comments on the video I uploaded last night. Thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. Uh, I know you guys are uh, <laughs> waiting to see if somebody claims Gamora. Mr. Campbell, waiting for you to give back to me and uh, claim Gamora. I might have to come up with a with uh, some kind of sort of system where I can actually directly get in contact with you guys. Um, I don't know if it would be too much for you to ask for you guys to follow me on Twitter or uh, on Instagram. That way, whoever the winner is, I could send a direct uh, message, you know, message you, a pri private message. Um, I know I could do it to YouTube. But the first time I gave something away, uh, it was something Lego, a little over a month ago. I, I private messaged the winner through uh, YouTube and it never got back to me. So I don't know how well that that works. I'm actually gonna try it uh, this time with Mr. Campbell, see if uh, he replies. If not, then I'll, you know, I'm not keeping him more. I'll, I'll if, he, you know, Mr. Campbell doesn't get back uh, to claim Gamora. I'll still find somebody else. So, uh, yeah, almost a hot topic. Uh, let's see uh, if I run the same luck as I did with the Go Batman. So, let's see what's in there. All right, guys. So I'm in the mall. I'm like three minutes early. So, hopefully, by the time I make it to a hot topic, they'll be open. Um, so, yeah, I'm hoping to get lucky and grab a few of those mystery boxes and and uh, find uh, it doesn't matter what kind of Deadpool I get uh, to me it'll be a win-win because I like all my pops so any every pop counts so let's see what they got in there here we are guys hot topic let's see what they got in here all right guys so here we are look at all these and ask if there's one you guys can find I think the, the the hardest part here is choosing and it's like playing the, yeah, like playing the lotto. <laughs> you play and you win or might not win. In this case, you'll get a Deadpool pop anyways. I feel like even if you get a couple that repeats, there's, there's people out there willing to trade for whatever they don't have. A um, couple more of the pops here. I have here on my Hot Topic. Um, I already picked up this guy. It's Hot Topic exclusive, Glow in the Dark. Agent 13 and all that stuff, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna start picking randomly see if I if I get lucky. And they are buy one get uh second one 30% off. So let's do this. All right, guys. So grab a few of these. Now I noticed that only a few out of the whole bunch have the sticker on top of the box. I'm not saying it means something, but we're about to find out. I'm gonna open one here before I leave the store. Let's see. Really Remove good. these things out of the way without making a mess. I like to do them like this. I like to do them like this. Like no editing, nothing. <laughs> All right. These things are well packed, nice, wrapped up and packed. All right. Almost there, guys. By the way, it's my first mystery pops I've ever buy, so. All right, so I got a green one. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but. Oh my God. Yeah. Got a green one. The rest I'll open when I get home. <laughs> yeah, guys. Yeah, got that one. Green one. Out of all of them. Oh well. I'll open the rest when I get home. <laughs> so I said I'm gonna open them 
when I get home. I can't wait. And uh, a big percentage of my videos is inside this car, so just do it here. Why not? So I opened the one with the price tag underneath. All right, let's see. Another green one. <laughs> Alrighty, another green one. I grabbed another one with the price tag on top. <laughs> I'll be darned if they all green one. <laughs> All right, that ready? You got to be kidding me. That's the third green one. Come on, don't mess with me. Don't play with my feelings. Okay, I got a blue one. I'm happy. I like blue. That's my favorite color. All right. Three greens, one blue. This is the last one, and I'm not going in there to buy another one. If I get another blue or green, I don't think I'm going to ever buy Mystery Pops again. All right, ready? I'm nervous. Another blue. Oh well, that sucks. Really does. It really does. So yeah, guys, kind of a bummer. I'll probably find somebody who wants to buy these, but uh, I got two blues and a green. Yeah. Kind of bum. Hey, it is what it is. Um, hopefully by the end of the day, I'll have the um, my DC box home, and I'll be able to share that with you guys. So we'll find that when I get home. All right, guys. I I know what you guys are thinking. Like, how does he go from hunting for Deadpool at Hot Topic to this? Cause this happened today. And I am blown away. If any of you guys already saw the uh, trailer 2 to Captain America Civil War, then you should know what this is right here. This is my own humble do-it-yourself kind of review for Captain America Civil War. Like, the trailer is amazing. I mean, I'm getting goosebumps as I'm recording this. The, ah, I was blown away. I can't wait to see this movie. It was amazing. Um, here are the guys. You guys know I'm with Team Iron Man. The stuff that I saw in this trailer got me excited, got me happy, got me pissed off, got me mad, got me confused. So many mix of emotions. Um, so, I like I said, I keep my, my videos different. Some of you guys have mentioned that you know it was about time you guys could see a real person doing a real video without all the you know introductions and and i've mentioned it before all the flashing little banners and music da, 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 all that stuff that's good but i want to be different i like to be different i work with what i have so um okay i have my buddy uh jermaine uh messaging me <laughs> he's gonna laugh when he sees this video because he is stoked like I don't care what team you are in. This movie is going to be amazing. I went online. Uh, <laughs> I went online and I purchased six tickets, you know, for my four kids, my wife and I. So it comes out May 5th. I'm going to be able to see it on May 4th uh, around 7 o'clock. Um, and um, I can't wait. I just can't wait. So I can't do the whole thing where you guys see me and see what I'm about to see. But I guess the reaction, and as the video goes, uh, you'll kind of know what I'm talking about. This is going to be my personal review and opinion of this movie. Mind you, the fact that I never followed or read the comics. To me, I don't know if some of you guys would 
relate to this, but people that that have had the awesome chance of you know you know having their parents be able to buy them comics or them buying comics and following them uh, you know growing up awesome i'm i'm happy for you guys that is amazing i wish i had the opportunity so for people that's read the comics every time you i'm, I'm assuming that every time you guys see a movie a marvel movie you guys go and relate back to what the comics and all that stuff i haven't read the comics so i go by what i see in the movies um i have a friend of mine uh rafael soto shout out to you buddy um this man has read the comics is more into them he grew up you know reading the comics and all that stuff so when guardians of the well when i saw you know like uh uh the first captain america and i saw thor and i saw iron man and all that stuff um my buddy Ralph, uh, you know, he was the one that actually explained to me. He, you know, he explained to me uh, Guardians of the Galaxy or the whole thing with the with the uh, six uh, Infinity Stones and Thanos and all that stuff. And he just fed into my, um, he just feeding into my imagination and, and my, you know, my thirst for knowing more about Marvel. And I, I love Marvel. So, I got, you know, shout outs to him for, for, for you know, <laughs> give, getting me all pumped up about, uh, about this. So, a person that's read the comics will, like I said, relate. Every time you see a movie, you relate to the comics, which you read. Yeah, when the comics has said this, and the comics has said that, or it did this, this guy did this, or this guy jumped, this guy flew, this one died, this, whatever. It's just random example. To me, I don't know if some of you guys can relate that have never read the comics, I feel that the excitement and the, 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 the guessing of what's going to happen and the way we see and, and guess and speculate makes it for us that haven't read the comics a bit more intense and a bit more fun and more action and just, oh my God, I, that's just my opinion. I feel that the fact that I bring, didn't read the comics makes it even better for me because now I'm looking for answers and I'm trying to see sort of Easter eggs on, on, on the trailer and wondering, oh my God, hold up. When the whole thing about trailers is kind of like build up that, that, that excitement that, that, you know, I can't wait to see what's going to happen. And, and not only in, these, in this trailer, but a lot of trailers from all different kinds of movies what you think you saw in the trailer you think you know you didn't know and that happened when i went to start, see star wars the force awakens what i thought i knew by looking at the trailer i didn't know nothing one once i saw the movie you know so i'm gonna start this hopefully you guys get to listen to you know what i'm um what i'm you know looking at some of you guys saw the trailer i'm gonna try to put the link to the actual uh, legit trailer from Marvel so you guys can watch it if you guys haven't seen it please, please go see it this I've seen this trailer when I first saw it I saw it somewhere between five to ten times I replayed it and then told my buddies and then told my brother-in-law he's big into Marvel and a whole bunch of my friends and I'm like dude you have to see this and I saw the three four times with them and I've seen this trailer I'd say somewhere between 20 and 30 times since 11 o'clock this morning when I first saw it. Like, I am blown away. So, I don't want to make this too long. So, I'm going to go and this will, the, the trailer will help me kind of like get there and explain to you guys what I see and what I think is going to happen or what's happening. I could be totally wrong. That's what I love about the fact that I didn't read the comics. I go by what I see in the trailers, what's happened in the past. So here we go. It starts with going into a vault where you see the Winter Soldier, Bucky. It almost seems like in a capsule. So this what what this does to me, just going by the movies, um, it makes me right away think of, okay, this is how, well, somehow he didn't die. 
when we all thought that Bucky had died when he fell off that train in the Captain America movie, and we all thought he was dead. Um, somehow he either got rescued and revived and turned to the to the Winter Soldier. I mean, he wasn't himself. He has that left arm. It's like a mechanical left arm. Uh, that mask that he carried. So I'm assuming that the, at, that at the same amount of or you know for as long as Captain America was stuck, you know, in the ice, frozen for I don't know 40, 50 years, whatever, how long it was that he was in in you know frozen um bucky was alive and probably this capsule looks like what kept him alive for all these years so he was pretty much like uh like a hitman like you know he wasn't thinking for himself he was being controlled he had no control of himself of his thoughts of his actions so i'm that's the first thing i saw in that that i'm thinking and that i think of besides the movie Hey, baby. Uh, so that's what I think of, of when I see this is, you know, how many people did he kill or what things he did in all that time, you know, not because he wanted to, but because he was controlled. His mind was controlled, he was controlled to do certain things. So, all right, let's keep on doing this. But you don't give up. Steve Rogers and Tony Stark have always had that rush, and they've been plenty of times where they don't agree. They want to go, you know, go at, you know, go at it. So here they show scenes from, uh, you know, from, you know, Sokovia, from uh, the Avengers in New York City. They're showing all the destruction and stuff that's happened throughout the the, the Marvel cinematics, and. That's um, why I'm here. It seems like the government wants to keep kind of like wants to keep them sort of kind of not on lockdown but on a watch they feel like the, these avengers all these 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 people with powers and and have been just roaming free with their powers not being kind of like you know observed kind of like a control like the whole thing they're doing with the gun control here in the in, in the states you know they're, they're it's like these guys could do whatever they are whether they're doing good or whether they have a change of heart and want to do harm to people, or whatever they're pretty much unstoppable. We gotta keep them, uh, you know, uh, you know, on, on checking on them, you know, kind of keep them sort of on a leash. That's what it seems like. I think that's the whole thing where maybe uh, Tony feels that that's a good thing, you know, to keep uh, everybody on a on a watch, kind of like a, you know, what? Let me get your weapons when you need them. Here you go. You can use them. Meanwhile, you can't use your power, so we got to watch. Monitor you. That's what I'm, the word I was looking for you for. They want to monitor all these Avengers and all these guys that, you know, have powers and all this all this stuff. It looks like uh, uh, Steve Rogers is not agreeing with that. Whatever form that takes, I'm getting. I'm sorry, Tony. If it looks like some sub-base or whatever from, like, from the ocean. Right here, I see... I already see uh, Tony Stark with a black and blue on his face. So at this point, you know they don't they don't show this trailer like the clips in order. They'll grab a clip from the beginning. They'll show a little clip from the end, and they all make make they mix it up, of course, because it keeps you excitement. It makes it seem like something totally different. That sounds like a threat from <laughs> Tony Stark. Just telling Steve, like, sometimes he just wants to punch him in, the, in, in his perfect teeth. It's always been that, like, rush between both of them, like, they want to kick each other's ass. So, uh, next scene, you see uh, you see Bucky in a motorcycle trying to flee, you know, fleeing. And you see Black Panther, which, by the way, this bad boy right, do, this bad boy right there looks amazing. They did an amazing job with Black Panther. Um, you see him running after Bucky, and then you see Captain America after, you know, Black Panther. Now, I'm going by assumptions and what I've heard. Apparently, um, looks like Tony and Black Panther, what they have sort of kind of a uh, same uh, common enemy, if I can, I can, if you guys could, could follow me here. Because apparently the rumors is that um, Black Panther comes from Africa, I believe, 
uh, Black Panther's father, I believe is like a chief of the tribe or whatever. And apparently, and it's just speculations and comments and rumors I've heard, um, the reason I say that Tony and, and Black Panther have this got common enemy, which will be Winter Soldier, because apparently in that time, you know, while, you know, Captain America was frozen or whatever, he was, Bucky was alive doing God knows one killing, I don't know who, you know. Um, apparently, Bucky might be the responsible, he might be responsible for Tony Stark's death. I mean, Tony Stark's father, um, Howard, uh, Howard, right? Howard Stark? I believe it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Howard Stark. Tony Stark's dad, they, you know, Winter Soldier is actually, or Bucky, is responsible for Tony Stark's dad and Black Panther's dad, death. So now that adds into the drama and the hatred, or whatever. That's just speculation. Don't take my word for it. That's what I've heard. Um, the safest hands are still around. This, yo, this part right here, this is scuff between Bucky and Tony. And he's not even, he doesn't even have his suit on. And I guess maybe another redesigned suit or, you know, upgrade suit from Tony, you know, from the Iron Man suit, where it comes in pieces. And as the scuff starts or bio argument, Bucky's pulling out a gun. And if he puts it right at Tony Stark's face. And if Tony would have had armed his, his uh, the, the actual part of the suit that covers his hand, the, the glove, if you want, um... He actually, as Bucky pressed the trigger and it shoots, it was just a matter of fractions of seconds where Tony actually catches or holds the bullet as he shoots. The look on Tony Stark's face was heart stopping. It was, it was, it was like horrifying. Like, no, this dude did it. Like, he pretty much tried to. If man, it was a matter of a split second, he would have blown. Tony Stark's head right there. It's, it's, it was like, my heart stopped. Like, that's it. Like, you messed up, Bucky. Now, of course, it's on. It's a war. I mean, you try to kill, literally try, try to kill Tony Stark. So, it, it got pretty intense there. Another thing I saw right here, Iron Man and Winter, uh, not Winter Soldier, uh, War Machine. They're flying, War Machine gets hit, and he gets hit right in the chest it almost seems like whatever the missile projectile whatever went right through his chest or it just hit the actual just just the chest and the armor and that's it um i i'm i'm not sure but um it shows uh war machine gets hit um, at this point he looks dead or extremely hurt he's passed out Bleeding out the nose, Iron Man takes the mask off. At this point, I'm trying to look, but of course, the armor on on the War Machine, you can't tell if he's breathing, if he's passed out, if he's dead. But the look in Tony's face is like, it's on. Like, it's on. Now it's revenge. Now it's extremely personal. Um, the whole world was wrong about you. Black Widow's on Team Iron Man. You just started a war. War goes on. Now it's back and forth. Um, Black Panther. I believe his suit is made out of the same material as Captain America um, shield. So I saw here he gets shot and the bullets just bounce off of him like... Like, it's amazing. Another thing I saw, split a second. It probably maybe lasts a second. Encounter between Vision and Scarlet Witch. Um, Scar oh, Scarlet Witch right here. And it looks like Vision is almost on his knees. And she's just going at him. And it looks like she's winning or whatever's happening. Makes me think, and I've heard this through... People that have read the comics, then in the comics, I guess Vision and Scarlet Witch, they end up having a child later on. I don't know if some kind of romance or something or feelings are going on because he does, Vision does save Scarlet Witch at Wakovia before the whole, you know, 
thing was before the whole city up in the air blows up and turns into dust. He does save her life, so I don't know if they have something going on. That's what I'm seeing. And maybe he's powerful. I mean, she's really powerful. But I don't think she's more powerful, or, you know, yeah, more powerful than Vision is. So at that point, you see him almost on his, on his knees, like she's beating him, like she's just using her powers over him. I don't know if that point, I'm just thinking um, that maybe if there's some kind of romance or something going on, or there's strong feelings from him to her, he's like, I don't want to hurt you kind of thing. You don't know, but that's the good thing about trailers. It gives you, leaves you speculating and guessing what's going to happen. Um, another thing, I'm looking at Hawkeye here. You know that Hawkeye and, and Black Widow have history, like they're family. They're like brother and sister. And for some weird, strange, I don't know what reason, they are in separate teams. Hawkeye's with Team Captain and Black Widow's with Team Iron Man. I, I, I don't know what's going on that uh, the whole drama and why they're separated like that when they're like real, they're best friends and kind of pretty much love each other like, like brothers and sisters. I don't know what the hell happened, but that's another thing that's got me going. So, I don't know if by now, if you guys are really paying attention to this video, there's a character right here you guys barely can see. Or maybe saw it and be like, oh, what's that? And... I I have I have a uh, um the collector corpse uh or collector's corp whatever I was it's uh collector corpse uh, subscription for Marvel and I got the Ant Man box which that's one of the things I one of the videos I want to do as I haven't shared with you guys how many of the uh, collector's corpse uh, boxes I have I got the uh, Hulkbuster I got the Deadpool I got one of these days I'll show you guys but and the Ant Man um collector's corp box which i have right here it's more like a two-in-one oh hold up it's more like a two-in-one box so you got ant-man without the uh you know unmasked and the other one is ant-man shrunk like small to me it's like the coolest pop ever it's like the uh a, it's a pop of a pop He's right here. I don't know if you guys can see him, but that's Ant-Man. I, I figured I'd put him like that because he's that shrink. And right here, it shows in the trailer, he shrinks. And he's kind of riding one of Hawkeye's arrows. And as he gets close to Iron Man, he jumps off the arrow. And he just flies right through in between, you know, Iron Man's um, fingers. What happens there? I don't know. Now, we know that Iron Man for sure is in the movie which brings up the spoiler from lego showing the captain america civil war uh lego set with giant man then i got i talked to you guys about the giant man pop that can't that won't be released from gamestop till may i don't know if there's a connection but i'm i can't wait to find out all right let's follow uh crossbones is in there when uh uh, Captain America, you know, Steve Rogers and Tony really go at it. At this point, they're beating each other and punching each other to the point where they're all bruised up, bleeding, and all that stuff. So they're really going at it. Crossbones, he's right here for some of you guys that haven't seen them. I don't know what team to put him if he's in one of the teams, but in one of the scenes here where they're going at it, I don't see him in it. So I'll put him there for now. Almost done. Amazing scene where they go to almost sort of in this, you know, formation and they just go at it. I pause it here. You see Iron Man's already up in the air. You see uh, Falcon going towards Iron Man up in the air. And I guess at this point, Scarlet Witch has, ha has learned how to control and use her powers because this girl's flying as well. She is flying. So, um, almost done with this. All right. I run out of patience. On the roof! Yo! Hey, everyone. And this guy shows up. Spider-Man is in the house. 
<laughs> that's why look i'm i'm rocking the spider-man shirt that i've had i was ho holding on using it and i just had to use it today spider-man is in the house people are complaining about the suit it looks this it looks that but i i, I forgot to go grab one more pop because i see now the spider-man's on iron man's team right and it makes me think of one of the uh, Funkos that I have, one of the exclusive Walgreens Funkos, which is the Iron Spider. So I'm hoping and thinking and guessing whatever, maybe in the future we'll g actually get to see the Iron Spider. I mean, Iron Spider, that's more like a mechanical suit that maybe Tony Stark does for Spider-Man in the future. I don't know, but I, I can't wait. I'd love to see that uh, the Iron Spider later on in the future. Not in this movie, but later on in the future. Now, one thing that I noticed from besides the the, the suit, and now it's too simple. I liked it. It was like simple. It looked nice and clean, like sort sort of bit bright. The voice, the voice on Spider Man, it sounds like a freaking teenager, like a young kid. So we'll find out. I am so psyched up. I can't wait. Here's all my pops, Team Captain, Team Captain, Team Iron Man, Spider Man all the way up here. I got Crossbones. All I'm pretty much missing is uh, Giant Man, but of course I gotta wait till May to pick him up. So guys, I hope you guys are as pumped up and happy and excited about this movie as I am. You guys, if you haven't seen the trailer, you guys gotta get on it and see this trailer once, twice. Just man, put it on replay for a half hour. I can't get enough of it. I am so excited. I can't wait. And um, being that I can actually do this with my Funko Pops, this is just a bonus. Being able to collect the Pops that I like, which I started with Marvel. Here I am, Captain America Civil War coming out. And I have pretty much all the characters. And um, I'm, I'm psyched up. Um, you guys might be wondering, there's that, not that I know of, but um, this the Hawkeye from actually from... Uh, uh, the Avengers that I had to go get as well as Vision. Everything else is pretty much um, from the Civil War set uh, when it comes to the Funko Pops. And then Iron um, Spider-Man I had. So these two I had put away. I had to go up to my storage and pick these two up. Um, I have too many stuff in my living room so I have to make some space. But uh, yeah, pretty much I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm going to keep on entertaining you guys. Please like this video this video please share it i really i really you know i really want to get to those 500 uh subscribers and even more if, if i'll be blessed right now i'm looking for 500 it's my goal i keep it simple i keep it humble but um guys please like share subscribe and on the comments put hashtag team captain or hashtag team iron man no matter what, I'm going to love you guys. I like all of them, but in this, you make me choose, I'm going to go towards Iron Man. I'm kind of sad that I don't know why Hawkeye is not in the same team as Black Widow. They're like brothers and sisters, so that's kind of that's kind of crazy. But um, I could kind of see where if what they told me about, you know, Bucky and, you know, uh, Howard, uh, you know, Howard Stark and... and and uh, Black Panther's dad, if it's true that this dude, back in the days, he's the actual responsible for the death of the... Then this just adds into the whole ordeal. So, guys, like, share, subscribe. Thank you for all your support, all the comments, all the questions. Any questions, any anything you guys could, could you know, give me some feedback on. Maybe I said something that makes no sense or something that's not going to happen or something you guys know about the comics you think it's going to happen, please leave it in the comment section below. I'm going to try to leave a link to the um, trailer so you guys can see it. Remember, you guys can follow me on uh, on Instagram. That's Poor Man Customs, all one word, Poor Man Customs. Uh, my Instagram, my Twitter, Rafi614. Of course, here, my YouTube, Rafi614. Please, guys. Just, just you know, follow me on Twitter, on Instagram, subscribe, and I'm gonna keep on, you know, trying to bring you guys as many cool videos as I can. But remember, hashtag Team Captain, hashtag Team uh, Iron Man, and uh, how many of you guys are happy that Spider-Man's the movie?
Raise your hands. Can't see ya. <laughs> I'm happy. The Spider Man's in the movie. So guys, love you guys. Hugs to all of you. Shout out to all every every single one of you guys. Sorry, I'm I'm a little excited. I'm stuttering here. But um yeah, that's it for now. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Later, Gator!